Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. I got something really exciting to show you guys today. Two years ago on this channel, I played a game called Crashlands. We had a Let's Play on it that went over 20 parts. And that was two years ago. Yesterday on our Twitch channel, I played it again, but not on Steam PC. Today, as I'm uploading this video, they are releasing it on the Switch. You can take it with you. It's going to be portable and um, trust me guys, I played this game for a couple hours just to get reacquainted with it to see what kind of different controls there are and new updates they've added. It has been a two year gap. There is, uh, there's a lot of updates with the game. They've added way more new different types of weapons and abilities that you can do. The game has changed quite a bit. Now if you don't know what the heck Crashlands is, I'm going to give you a little crash course on it. <laughs> don't click off the video please. Basically, it's a story about Flux, the main character, and Juicebox, your little companion. And pretty much, you are a delivery service uh, transporter merchant, and you get um, stuck on a, a freaking random planet, and you have to survive by getting resources off the land. If you break a bunch of rocks, you can turn into a pickaxe, you can destroy a bunch of enemies, you can obtain their leather and bones and turn them into armors and weapons this game is really really awesome like i said it's it was out it's been out for a while now but the new additions that they have on switch here is it adds co-op so you can play um, i think of it like the binding of isaac co-op where you have your your main character flux and then or isaac right if you're playing the binding of isaac and then you give someone else the controller it should drop in drop out sort of gameplay and they can play as your secondary character juice box who can help you fight enemies and whatnot but some of the reasons why I really like this game is it has a really good humor. The game plays really well. It's pretty much a top-down type of thing where it's a it's a it's pretty much a procedurally generated type of world. However, most of the major positions are still there, but um, all the biomes that you go in, maybe enemies spawn over here this time. They spawn over there. Lots of different items, so you can build a base you can make crafting stations you can choose which weapons you want and just like you know terraria the more you craft the weapons you can recraft the weapon over and over and you can get different stats on it maybe this one has like vampire chance like a three percent chance for a vampire hit which gives you uh, a percentage back or maybe um the armor gives you a shock which gives a gives you a chance to shock the enemy uh for a chance if you get hits movement speed up you know bleeding all of that stuff so it's really really awesome um there is a lot of things to craft in this game. So, I 100% recommend this freaking thing. And if you, if you guys, if also if you guys are interested in watching the playthrough that I did yesterday, I am going to be um, putting a link in the description below to my secondary YouTube channel. And that's where the uh, Twitch VODs are. So, come by the Twitch, follow it, turn on notifications. And, I'm, you know, I'm showing all the gameplay from that one VOD. The VOD's about an hour and a half long, so if you want to check it out, please subscribe to the VOD channel. That's where I put all of them. Anyway, guys, check it out. It's cool. Crashlands. And one also big part about this, if you never played it, highly recommend it. And because it's on Switch, portable. This is, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a grindy game, but I'm going to be playing this, you know, right, like maybe an hour or two before I go to sleep, killing some monsters. Maybe farming some items because you can make farms. You can um, befriend enemy. You can like get eggs. And you can befriend enemies to only you know to boost your stats and also they fight with you. It's really just a good game. So thank you so much, Butterscotch. Um, you know the company who uh, published the published and developed. I'm not sure if they published, but they de certainly developed the game for getting me a key. This game's great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Let me know. Have you guys played this game in the past? And what do you guys think of it? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. But you can recraft the weapon over and over to get some good rolls. But yeah, it's... it's. I'll, I'll do that late game. It's, it's not worth doing it too much now, because what's going to happen? You roll it, you spend like an hour rolling something, and then what? You're going to unlock a recipe for a stronger weapon. So I think late game, it's, it, that's when it's truly going to matter. Unless we get stuck, and then we got to reroll. But I think it's okay for now. Do any? I mean, if you just look it up. Yeah, berserk, berserk. Oh, suck it, dude, 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 dude. Hey, ah. Take it, boy. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo.
Yeah, you have to be pointing in the direction. We got an egg! Woo! Smacked an egg out of it. I can use it to make an enormous breakfast burrito or hatchet. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't think I can craft that thing anytime soon. Huh? Woo! Womp it. It's on the Discord. Oh, wait. It's been five minutes. Let's go get the... Uh, let's go get our pet. All right. Yeah, he wants to get out. Hey, little guy. Now what? Womp it. Name it. Okay. Okay, it'll be sticky. Dang, you could put a lot of freaking numbers and letters on this thing. All right. You can milk it. Take advantage of every resource. <laughs> Try putting that milk-tastic beast of yours back at its nest and then feed it some sawgrass leaves. Fight together. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get him, boy. Oh, you stomped on him. Mmm, sushi. Oh, fuck, I love sushi. Oh, he aggroed from far. All right, let's go. Let's kill this one. Better go back so we don't aggro the other ones. Ooh. Ah, shit, really? This guy's tougher. Alright, he's gonna teach me how to make a pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, take guess. Alright, cool, got him. Gotta go craft pickaxe. Then we can get more items. I have to craft like four of those like bacon flower things though for a quest. 